Hey guys, in the this side from 24 by 7 everything. Hope you all are doing great. We are again back with another video and this time it's on Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1. So in this particular video we'll see how to download and manually install the Android 10 Beta 4 version with the version number 432. So let's begin with that. So before that, let me confirm you the currently installed version on my phone and afterward we'll see each and everything that where it is failing and so on. So at mo on my phone screen, you are able to view that the latest, sorry, the currently installed version on my phone is 060 with the Android Pie version with the security patch level of 5 December 2019. So after this, now the next step is that how to download and install it. Uh, there are two options. Either you can go to Asus web official website and download it. Otherwise, I have already created a dedicated article on, on my official blog. The URL for the same will be provided to you in the description box below so that you can go over afterward. So let's begin with that. Nothing major has been mentioned, few minor things. So like firstly, it is a build number. Then basically it's a full update of 1.67 GB approximately, which will upgrade your phone from uh, like version 060 Android Pie to 432 and so on, which we will be covering in afterward. But basically to the 432 version, which is Android 10 beta. Now, before we jump into the installation part or downloading part, there is an important note for Android Pie user. So if you want to install this particular update, you should be at least on minimum installed version should be 060 or either 061, 063, 082, 084 and 087. Apart to this for Android 10 beta user, it's a good news that it is uh, compatible with each and every Android 10 beta version, be it beta 1407, beta 2, 424, beta 3, 429. But apart to this, you have to take a backup of whole of your data, which is in your internal story. Because when I was testing these, this particular installation process, I have tested one by one on each and every version to see, see where it has been asking me to re, re, like factory reset my phone. So on version 063 and on 087, I have faced that issue where I have to factory reset my phone, which result into, into the data loss. But I will recommend that whenever you will be on testing or upgrading this on any of the ver version, please do take backup beforehand before installing or upgrading to this version because afterward if you will say that brother I have upgraded now it is asking me to enter the password you won't be able to do anything you have to factory reset your phone and data will be lost in all. Now the next part is that how to download it so it's a direct uh, link provided by Asus which I mentioned here either you can go to their site or either you can just tap it here and download it. And before we jump into that, but I've already done uh, downloaded that by, to cut down the time. So I'll show you that as well. And afterward, these are our social handles. You can either follow us or subscribe us. So now let me show you the file which I have downloaded. So this is that particular file, which is of 1.72 GB or sorry, 1.67 GB, which uh, after downloading on your phone, it will show it like 1.79 GB. So you just have to select it and afterward either you can move to or copy to to cut down the time. I have already done that part as well. So let me show you that as well. So the same file is in my internal storage as well. So now we are good to go with the installation process. So for that you have to restart your phone and just wait till the time it will be rebooted again and that particular pro prompt will be shown to you. So finally the phone has been successfully booted to the login screen or home screen and it has again shown us uh, a prompt like system update file detected and so on. So let me go above on the status bar, tap it here. So I have kept this file in download folder, even in on my SD card, uh, in the root folder and apart to this, I have also kept the same file in internal storage as well. That's why it is showing more than one prompt. So you can just select the very first one and tap on it. Now the Android system update will be preparing the update in the background and it will be checking for the integrity check. If everything will went well, then it will restart our phone and afterward it will move to the system wizard. Again, just a precautionary note before doing anything, please take a backup of all of your data which is in your internal storage. Otherwise, you will lose the data and afterward it is not recoverable. So afterward, don't say that brother, I have tried this and I'm unable to do this because even I can't help you in that. This is a all in all process and in beta version, it will always have some if and but. So it's not a stable one. So within the next three to four seconds, we will be jumping to the install update system wizard. So finally, the update installation process has been started. So it will take nearly about five to 10 minutes. So just wait till that time it will complete. So finally, the installation process has been completed and now our phone has been rebooted. It will take nearly about two to three minutes to successfully log into the login screen or home screen. 
so now you can view that android queue signed and android system finishing system update and now it will prompt you that system update successful so just to verify let me go to sections or i would say setting sections afterward about section now on android 10 let me confirm you by tapping here so android 10 with the version 432 with the security patch level of 5 august 2020 so again do take backup and it is applicable for version starting 060 for all the pi versions but backup is necessary this was all from my side related to how to install or download how to download or install manually the android 10 beta 4 version with the version number 432 hope you like this video if you really like this video kindly share this with your friends and family and apart from this please subscribe to our channel because this will surely motivate us and boost us to create more videos like this in the coming future Finally, it's the time to sign off now. Bye for now. Thanks.